Hi, my name is Gaynor Evans and normally um, when I do a um, video or vlogs it's about my sex life or dating advice or advice for the older woman um, who you know may or may not be single. Unfortunately um, this time I'm actually talking about something entirely different with a much more serious note. Um, and you're thinking to yourself, what could be more serious than being a single older woman? Well, I can tell you something that could be more serious. Um, we got a, a diagnosis of cancer in the family um, back in October. Um, and unfortunately, uh, my daughter, who um, had been fit and well and really wasn't emanating any symptoms, was diagnosed with um, a virulent form of stomach cancer, called signet ring cell adenocarcinoma. Now I've become, um, since that dreadful day, um, virtually an expert on all forms of this horrible disease. And um, when you get a diagnosis like this, um, and it's a member of your family, and when it's your actual child, well, it, it, you, you know, your, your whole mind, you know, goes into overdrive and you can't actually, uh, if I'm honest, take it in. Um, during that period and just after, um, loads of people gave me information, people were texting me, phoning me, adding links, try this, try that. Obviously, we, we're getting um, extremely good care uh, from the London Clinic and um, she's obviously in, in the good hands of a, of, a, of a super oncologist. But while that is sort of underway with the chemotherapy, we looked at everything else that we could do to help her through this, this difficult time and to see what would benefit her um, while she was undergoing um, a rigorous chemo a regime of a two weekly infusion. Um, and what, I'd, what I decided was that when people mention more than one thing to me, um, if it comes at me from say two or three different sources, um, I then would look it up and take notice. Um, I mean, we had a lot of people obviously talking about holistic stuff, you know, cannabis oil, eat this food, try the alkaline diet. So we, look, look, you know, in the end, you're in a position where anything you can do to help would actually be better than just sitting there waiting to see whether anything was going to work. You feel very powerless as a mother and being powerless is not something I'm good at being. So um, I did all my research um, and um, we'd noticed in the shops that a lot of the shops um, and health shops and food shops are doing these, these tiny little health shots that are supposed to give, you know, invigorating powers of one sort and another, depending on what your ailment is. And um, she started off taking um, a small um, turmeric and ginger shot, I think it was, or turmeric and cayenne pepper shot um, that good old Marks and Spencers were selling at about 160 or 70 a, a pot. And um, I said, well, I'm sure I could make something similar. Um, you know, I don't think one pot here and there is going to be of any use. We need to add to this. And as further information kept pouring my way from everyone who, you know, who were wonderfully um, kind and trying to help us in this dreadful situation, um, I put together um, what I can only call is my own version of a health shot, specifically targeting the immune system and also to target um, sort of supporting her through it, but also with, with supposedly anti-cancerogenic properties. Um, as far as we're concerned, we'll try anything. And we are, you know, giving everything um, our best shot. And if we can parallel that with the medical profession, then, you know, why not? So um, looking up various things, um, I came up with this sort of recipe, which she's been taking now um, since her beginning of her chemo, which was uh, back in December. So um, she takes it every day, at least twice a day. I make a fresh bottle of it up every week, um, usually using this is a soda bottle. But quite often, in my case, it's a tonic water bottle, which, of course, is regularly emptied when it's poured in with the gin I'm consuming in vast quantities. But um, you know, today we have a soda water bottle and I would fill that up and that would last for about a week. Um, I would say that the actual mixture probably would last longer, but um, about a week to 10 days is good for it. So what do I put in this wonderful, wonderful stuff? Well, first of all, you need some sort of blender. Um, I've got a trusty Nutra bullet, um, which I was given for Christmas, especially. And um, so I use this um, 
the large one and we start off um, with um, one of the main ingredients which um, is is supposed big big watchword these days is good old good old uh, turmeric or turmeric so I actually use just a teaspoon and I, I put in about three to four of those in every bottle it's quite a lot and it does make it a little bit powdery I've tried different things but I suppose fresh turmeric would be great if you can get it, but you know, we, we get what we can use. So I use about four of those um, and that goes in with one flat teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now, um, the reason behind this is the, pep the, the piperine in the black pepper helps absorption of the turmeric into the, uh, the blood system or, or the well the good things in the turmeric so just one of those goes in um another very good anti carcinogenic um plant i found i was told was saffron um i was lucky enough that a, a friend of mine happened to have this in her cupboard and it's a huge bottle of jar of saffron um so uh, whereas i was putting in a small amount uh, with this huge jar i actually put in about one flat sort of teaspoon about that much goes in now um to add to that um fresh ginger uh, about this amount every time the fresher you can get it the better it is i just chop it up and throw it in the neutral bullet tends to a blitz it anyway but fresh ginger obviously as you know i'll just quickly chop this up but fresh ginger as you know is really good for uh, the immune system for colds for stomachs now as we're dealing with stomach cancer here um and as i tell my daughter to take this first thing in the morning so that it's the first thing that hits us an empty stomach so not only is it getting absorbed into the system but also it's sort of acting like a wash as well um because obviously it always is tough this bit of ginger um because obviously you know any external um influences are, are just as good as internal so around a good couple of inches of chopped up fresh ginger and then um to add vitamins to that we use um, fresh lemons and fresh limes so i put um two two fresh lemons the juice of and two the juice of two fresh limes in every bottle and i just use one of those simple old-fashioned squeezy juicy things 